I was brought to this world in very difficult circumstances. My mother, who was several months pregnant with me, was arrested, taken to the re-education camp by the Red Guards during the height of the Cultural Revolution. Because of the physical abuses that my mother suffered, she was injured while she was delivering me. Specifically, she was in cast chest down. Most people, even after we were released, did not think that I would make it. Five decades after these events took place, we're still talking about how this vulnerable religious and ethnic minority have been subject to now genocidal actions committed by the CCP government in Beijing. For the last few decades, nobody has really been willing to speak up about the suppression of belief of Uyghur communities who have been daily discriminated against on the basis of their religious belief. The Chinese government has long regarded these communities as suspicious, as different as the other. And it's not just their ethnicity, it's that they are Muslims. And this is interpreted by Chinese authorities as political disloyalty. Based on various reports, credible evidence, satellite imageries, personal testimonies by victims and survivors, the Chinese government has been operating an industrial-scale concentration camps since late 2016. In addition to those concentration camps, China has been also reportedly operating forced labor camps. These camps have a horrific conditions, which is very similar to the ones that we read in history books. This cannot happen in our world. And increasingly, it was happening in the shadows, except for a few leaders that were willing to raise their voice despite personal cost, despite Chinese intimidation. It is very costly to speak out against governments like China. They are brutal, they can harm you, they can torture you psychologically. I have not seen my mother, who brought me to this world for 17 years now, and I may never see them again. What I do for the community, for the cause, is deeply personal for me. I live through it. I know how it feels. I'm a victim of those atrocious policies, brutal policies. It is my moral obligation, by being in a position that I have been, as an initially an immigrant, a lawyer, and now the government official, to be a voice for a voiceless people. Nuri Turkel drew the line in the sand, and behind him are tens of millions of us saying, no more, not on our watch. Commissioner Turkel's work is incredibly important because so often, Things go by default. Things are not said because there's no one there to save them. If we do not protect religious freedom, we will end up eroding every single right. It is Commissioner Turkel that revealed that to the world at great personal cost. He will throw everything he's got at trying to help people on this issue. And, you know, I feel incredibly lucky to have learned as much as I have about the Uyghur community from him. Not to speak is to speak. Not to act is to act. And that will never be said of Commissioner Turkel. You may think China is a powerful country. You may think that they can do a lot of harm to you, but you are much more powerful than China because you can speak truth to power.